When was the last time you went today without using something designed by engineers? We changed the world by making the impossible possible. I absolutely love what I do and I really enjoy that I get to be creative and that what I do has um, social value and that I get to do things that change the world. I thrive in high pressure environments. I'm really proud that I got to represent the UK as a delegate to the United Nations. Leading teams deliver major infrastructure projects. And I've also introduced nearly 40,000 young people into the world of engineering. I took a lead on designing the full system architecture of an entirely new passport career capability to prevent identity fraud and fake passport usage. I built a bridge in my hometown of Sunland. Something that I built will be there for hundreds of years to come. As someone with dyslexia who really struggled in school, these accomplishments have made me really proud. I've proved not only to myself, but to others, that I can excel in a space that I once felt excluded from. I feel deeply honoured and humbled to be a finalist in this award. Being a finalist is a great honour that feels both surreal and inspiring. It's generally something that I never have expected and I feel really grateful to be recognised for my work. Very grateful and very exciting. Being a finalist feels like standing on the edge of something extraordinary. I am so excited for what's ahead. I hope that it shows women and girls that they belong in engineering and their voices matter, no matter what their background is.